Today I'll be reviewing Jaxo Joy's 200 piece army men set. The set can be purchased on Amazon with the link in the description. It includes many modern day air soldiers, vehicles, and other props. All of the pieces come in a portable plastic bag which has handles for carrying. They are all packed in there tight and I found it a bit tricky to put everything back into the bag. Additional items in the bag include this card for reviews and other company information and this separate bag of metallic pieces. Here are all of the figures lined up. The set is listed at 200 pieces, but overall I counted 207. There are 80 soldiers divided equally among 4 factions, green, tan, red, and blue, with 10 unique poses and 2 soldiers per pose. There are 22 vehicles and 105 other pieces. There's 12 barbed wire fences, 2 sandbag walls, 2 brick walls, 2 rocks with flags, two towers, four signs, two tents, four camo green tents, three parts of a sandbag wall, two parts of an ammo crate, two gas barrels, two location signs, seven city signs with two traffic cones, six boxes with three unique sculpts, two radios, six different turrets with three attachments, two rocks, another two rocks, one large tree, one medium tree, two small trees, four thin trees, seven grass tufts, one dog, and finally, 24 chrome slash metallic pieces. The chrome parts are very tiny and remind me of that one SpongeBob episode. Alright. Let's get a closer look at the poses and vehicles.
Now I'm going to compare the soldiers to Tim Mee soldiers. I was a bit surprised to see the soldiers actually fit in well. The colors are great and the scale of the standing troops are fine. I was expecting the figure quality to be poor, but they look good. The crouching soldiers, as you can see, are tiny in comparison to the Tim Mee crouch soldier. This one vehicle is the sole reason why I purchased the set. Look at the size of this APC compared to the Tim Mee tank. The other vehicles are a bit small, but you can imagine this tank is controlled by some AI or something. We've seen these figures from another set on this channel before, but I'm not sure who the original company who produced them is. The set has better quality figures than the other, but is missing the rocket launcher pose. We haven't done a float test in a while, so let's see how seaworthy the boat is. And as expected, it does float, but how many guys can it hold? It's getting too crowded. Here comes the storm. The set comes with pretty average soldiers, but you don't see red and blue so much. The APC is truly the centerpiece from the set, but I also enjoy some of the other props, like the boxes and signs. The proportions of the parts are a bit funky, as some of the vehicles are small, and especially the chrome town. It also sucks that the second trailer with the artillery gun was broken, because that would have been a nice addition to the green army. The figure variety is a bit weak from this set. There's pretty much two different soldier variants with a radio, shooting, firing, and running pose. I would have liked to see other poses with different weapons and positions. They are okay for background characters and stop motions, but I don't think they have main character potential. Thanks for watching. Make sure you are subscribed so you can stay up to date with my future videos.